So for today's video, this is going to be similar to one of the videos I already have on my channel, but for today I'm actually going to be doing my entire jewelry collection. I have kind of gotten a couple of requests on this before too, so I just decided to go ahead and do the video for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you guys just want to see what I wear on a like day-to-day -day basis and like my everyday jewelry, you should definitely check out that video that I have on my channel. But for today, I'm just going to show you everything that I own jewelry wise whether it's like luxury or just cheaper alternatives for jewelry pieces that I also use sometimes when I want to go out Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie here on YouTube and if you like fashion, luxury, lifestyle videos then you should definitely hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell to get notified when I upload new videos. So basically I'm just going to take you guys over to my jewelry box which is located on the other side of my room and kind of just show you and do like a kind of not really like a voiceover but I'll just be showing you the pieces and telling you like which ones that I have. This obviously is just my entire jewelry jewelry collection right now. There are like a bunch of like other things that I have on my wish list but I obviously haven't gotten around to it or I'm like still saving up for it so hopefully in like the near future I'll do like an updated jewelry collection but yeah this is what I have so far and I really don't see myself buying any more luxury piece jewelries for the rest of the year so I figured this would be the best time to show it to you guys. So yeah let's go see what kind of jewelry I have in my jewelry box. So this is pretty much the jewelry box that I use to keep all of my jewelry in. I actually did feature this on my room tour. So if you guys want to see the room that I usually spend most of my time in, you should definitely also check that out on my channel. But basically I'm just going to go through like the drawers here and then this top part as well. Usually I like to display like all my like day to day type of jewelry pieces up here since it is clear and it's like the easiest access to from like getting into this jewelry box but let's start with this one over here so we're gonna just opening it up and right here is where I display all of my necklaces then I like to keep my like bracelets watches and stuff like that maybe like some bigger earrings over here and then this is where I have a majority of my earrings and then also my rings so let's start off with this little corner over here so obviously you guys can definitely recognize this necklace. This is my Cartier Love Diamond necklace that I wear every single day. Then if I want to switch it up, I would usually wear my Van Cleef Alhambra necklace. And then I also like to layer this necklace over here with these two pieces over here. So this is my heart like choker pearl necklace that I like to wear. It looks really cute layered with the love necklace. And then over here I just have this studded silver and gold choker necklace that I like to layer a lot with my Van Cleef and Alhambra necklace. I got this one actually from Revolve and this one I'm not exactly sure. I want to say it was like Anne Klein or something like that where I ended up finding this one. This is another necklace that I like to layer with as well. This one I feel like is very popular right now. It's like a trend going on and I thought it was super cute with like the little like charmy candy necklace. So this one I think I got from Altered Star. I think that's the name of the store but again I really like to pair this with my Love Diamond necklace so that's also why I keep it up here. And then over here, I kind of just have this Kendra Scott necklace. Sorry, it's kind of like blurry a little bit, but it's like a triangle necklace that I like to wear if I don't feel like wearing either of these two necklaces. And then I just have this like statement piece necklace. I actually received this as a gift from a friend, so I'm not exactly sure where she got it. But yeah, I'll wear this on like very special occasions. I feel like if I want like a bigger like statement piece necklace, if my outfit's like a little bit, you know, kind of plain or something. Then I have like these like 
plain silver necklaces and I think I uh, don't quote me on it but I think I got these from like H&M or something but yeah this one's like a little bit of a thinner version of that one and it also is like layered too um so it kind of just looks like that it's not really completely like falling the way I want it to but it just like is a cute like there you go like a layered plain necklace I feel like I've been seeing this a lot on some like influencers but I just didn't feel like paying like the real money for it for like a really expensive one and then I also have like this layered piece necklace as well I think I got this one actually from Nordstrom from like the BP section or something like that um, but this one obviously is like the same way it has like nice nice little like pearl studs though all around it so another like cute little like layering piece so yeah that's pretty much all I really have for necklaces then if we go over here to this corner, I don't know if you guys can like tell, but sometimes I like to just throw the back of like some of my stud earrings here, so ignore that. But two, well, this pair of earrings that I have are my big chunky hoop earrings that I like to wear before I started wearing my Cartier Love hoop earrings. I feel like these are probably nicer for like a bigger alternative hoop earring that I'm kind of going for if I have like a nice like slicked back bun look or like a ponytail I kind of like to switch it up with these and these I believe I got from Ana Luisa and then these are just my candy bracelets I actually just have this in here because I kind of like toss them in here after EDC but I definitely want to collect more because I thought it was very cute to do like a plur and like kind of get some new designs from other people so yeah just keep that I guess kind of like for memories and for next year and then over here is another bracelet that I like to wear I also feature this in my everyday jewelry collection so I won't go into detail but basically I like to wear this one with my like tennis bracelet and then also with my Michael Kors watch so basically these three I like to pair as like my stack bracelet the bracelet this one is from Kate Spade I actually got it as a gift and then this tennis bracelet is from Swarovski and then I also have this bracelet that I love to wear as well. This is the Christian Dior bracelet. I love just wearing this like on its own with like a nice summer dress. I forget what the name of this one's called, but I'm pretty sure if you just like search like charm looking CD bracelet, it'll probably pop up. Then if I go over to here in this section, I basically just display all of my earrings over here. So I don't know if I'm going to go through everything because there is a lot of stud earrings, but I guess just like off the bat, I do have these like dangly Chanel pearl earrings that I love wearing. Like, oops. I feel like these are so classy for like any like sophisticated party that you're going to go to. Again, it looks like really nice with like the updo look. So loved these when I got them. And then I've worn these definitely before in another video, but these are just the Chanel CC stud earrings that I like to wear. Then I also have these Gucci stud earrings that I also like to wear as well. Then this one, oh, he's kind of like falling over to the side over here, but obviously he belongs next to this one. But these are actually from Swarovski and these are some, or actually no, these are from Pandora. And these are stud earrings that I used to like to wear every day, again, before I wore my Christian Dior. I mean, my, before I wore my Cartier Love Hoop earrings. Then I just have these dangly gold pair earrings that I wear. Not so sure where I got these because I'm pretty sure I got them as a gift. Then of course I have some nice stud pearl earrings I like to wear. I have another set of like half hoop, half like dangly earrings from Kate Spade that I also got from as a gift. I love these earrings because I feel like they're so different. But I got these from Swarovski. So those are some cute stud earrings that I like to wear. And then you still love wearing these as well. 
These are also, I think, from Pandora. But they're just like really nice. I should pick one up so you guys can get a closer look. Yeah, they're just like these really nice gold and silver stud earrings that I used to like as everyday earrings. So these are definitely perfect and a little bit more affordable as well. And then these ones over here, they're more like clip-on earrings, but they're just like huge. I got these also as a gift. Not exactly sure where this person got it from, but these are nice like, you know, fun earrings that you can kind of just like wear. I guess with like a nice summery outfit or to spice up your outfit a little bit. And then if I go down here, these are just all of the rings that I own. Obviously I talked about this again in my everyday jewelry, so the, those ones I'll probably skip over. But obviously I have my Just Clue ring, then this is my engagement ring that my fiance proposed to me with. <laughs> then I also have a love ring and then my tiffany ring and then i also have this stud ear ring that i got um i featured this in my 2021 christmas i think because my fiance got this from like a cute little boutique or jewelry shop i like to use this honestly just to layer some of these rings and then i also have a plain gold one of this tiffany ring but i'm wearing it right now but it's also featured in my everyday jewelry collection if you want to see it. And then I also have another set of like stud all around rings that I like to wear with my love rings. And then these two rings over here I got from Pandora. It's actually kind of funny because I feel like this one's very similar to my engagement ring. So I think that's why my fiance kind of figured I'd want a ring like that. <laughs> but yeah, this one is really nice because I used to love wearing it on my middle finger. Obviously, I don't really wear it as much anymore because of my engagement ring. And then I also have this fun piece that I used to like as wear as like a thumb. I don't know if I could like show you guys, but yeah, I basically like to wear it like around my thumb as like a thumb ring. I think I usually wear it on my right finger, not my left, but it looks really pretty. And also sometimes I'll wear it on my middle finger as well, but really just like the design and just a nice little ring to wear. Okay, so that's pretty much everything at the top part of this jewelry box. This draw is actually fake. <laughs> it's just there for like display, but then I also have this draw. There's not really much going on here, but this is obviously where you can tell I keep my like big chunky statement piece necklaces. This one I got a really, really long time ago, but this is actually from Abercrombie and Fitch. It looks really cool. I remember I used to have like the matching bracelet for this one, but I think I like got rid of it. But then obviously these I just have as like little switch ups for watch band for the apple watch i like to go back and forth between this one and then also that like kate spade one that you've probably seen in my other videos that i wear and then this is a choker necklace that i got from fashion nova and then i also have this necklace that i got as a gift and i'm honestly absolutely obsessed because i feel like this is like another trend that's going on like i feel like they look like paper clips honestly like this paper clip choker necklace over here so yeah that's pretty much all i have in this draw and then this last draw over here um, pretty much I just have like my travel accessories that I use for like any of the luxury piece jewelry that you saw up top here. So that's pretty much it. So that is my entire jewelry collection. So that's pretty much my entire jewelry collection, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment down below if there was any jewelry piece that you guys saw and you were wondering where I got it from or like sizing or anything like that or if you missed something in the video, just leave it down below. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll check you guys out in my next video. Bye!